Hello, New Englanders. I mean, Arkansans. What the heck is all this white stuff? I am from South Florida, a transport to this wonderful state of Arkansas. And this is the first time I can say that I have taken one of these and shoveled my driveway. As a physical therapist, I felt it was my civic duty to be able to help educate you on proper mechanics of using your snow shovel to clear your driveway or your neighbor's driveway and not sustain a musculoskeletal injury. Musculoskeletal injuries such as back pain or shoulder pain or neck pain, knee pain, are all potential problems that we are going to see with shoveling 12 inches of snow. So what I'd like to do is educate you a little bit on proper mechanics so that you don't hurt your back and have to come into my office. We're going to start with the positioning of the shovel, okay? You want to do as much as you can with your arms to get to get the motion started. Notice that I'm squatting down, okay? I'm not bending over like this with my knees straight, which is putting a lot of strain on my back. I'm actually squatting and I'm getting low. I'm using the handle to drive with this arm and the other hand to push. And I'm, I'm getting close to the shovel as well. That's another concept. We're not bending over and picking it up from here, using my back the whole way, okay? We are keeping the shovel low, wedging it into the, into the snow, getting squatting down, keeping my back straight, my tummy engaged. I'm going to get low towards the hosel, uh, and I'm going to lift with my legs, then I'm going to turn and walk, plant my feet, and then I can, um, you, you can rotate. Okay, especially if you're a golfer, you're going to squat, same idea, now I'm here, and I'm going to pivot just like a golf swing, okay, I'm going to pivot onto my lead side. Uh, what you don't want to do is be in this position, and then all of a sudden you're making, you know, no knees bent, I'm, I'm dead straight, and I'm just kind of moving my upper body, rotating your trunk without the knees bent and also rotating your lower body, okay? So that can put a lot of torque on your back, torque on your knee, pain in the shoulders. Uh, another common sense concept that uh, I tell a lot of my patients is activity pace, okay? Don't go out and expect to spend three hours um, shoveling your entire driveway or your neighbor's driveway. You wanna break up the task a little bit, okay? It's kind of annoying to have to do, Work for a little bit, take a 30 second rest, minute rest. Shake yourself out, loosen yourself up. Um, have some water handy in your garage. Go drink some water, come back out. Um, this is my second day out here. I broke up, did about half the driveway yesterday. Slept really good last night. Um, but now I'm out here and just kind of getting the rest of the job done. Once again, squatting. Pushing here, pushing with this hand, then I'm lifting, okay? And then I'm walking over and I'm bending my knees and I'm twisting, okay? I don't want you to have the leg straight. You're not gonna be here, leg straight, and all I do is fling my arms, okay? You've gotta rotate your body um, you could also, instead of rotating your body, which could be problematic for some people with back pain, you could also just come here, step out a little bit further into your yard, and just dump it, okay? Then there's no rotation, but um, one of the other things that is super important is notice I'm always going to my right, okay? I'm actually a right-handed golfer, so going to my left, we wanna make sure that we're varying the stresses that we're putting on our body. If I'm gonna do this a thousand times going to my right, I also want to think about going to my left. So I'm here, same, 
I can do this, then I can turn the other way, I can plant my legs, slot and pivot, okay? So I'm, and even just the way you handle the, um, the way you handle the shovel, okay? I have just naturally tend to use my right arm on the top, but I could use my left, okay? So same idea, I'm here, pushing here, using my body as leverage, keep my elbow at my side, I'm pushing in with my hips, I'm going to bend, now I'm going to do the opposite. I feel a little bit more awkward rotating this way. Of course I could, but I could also just, like I said, take it into your yard, take it into your yard and just dump it so you're not rotating your back. Listen to your body. Um, if your body's telling you you need to take a break, do it. Um, if your body's telling you you need to break up the task, do it. Um, you are very fortunate that you know a highly skilled physical therapist right here in your community that can help you if you do get into trouble with snow shoveling. Uh, I look forward to hearing some comments and feedback, ask questions, uh, tell me some of the techniques maybe that you use that you found beneficial. Um, let's go out there and um, be safe, enjoy the snow, enjoy the weather, and, uh, and hopefully I won't have to see you in my office. Use some of these concepts to keep yourself safe.